Hey everyone, hello boss man. Uh, congratulations on your two year anniversary. Uh, many happy returns. Good questions. So, to number one, what would I change about my side? I would change about my side, but the same thing I would really change about all humans. I would make us less hypocritical. Um, and uh, this is because, yeah, and I'm, I'm including myself in that. A hypocrisy to me is one of the most frustrating things in the world when you can see that someone is not really acting in accordance to um, principles they hold in different respects and this goes on all the time obviously in the behavior of atheists towards theists uh, it's not unique to atheists um, but for people on my side on any issue I would always love it if we could just be less hypocritical and the golden rule is certainly a, a good place to start with that and as I said myself included I am no better uh, than other people are not which five people would I want to convert uh, well I'm not in the conversion business I think these things will settle over time over time anyways I'm an atheist and I think that uh, religion will gradually fade away but I want people to come to their own conclusions based on the evidence. And if if people, if religion starts to increase again, well, you know, uh, then I guess that means that, that there's more convincing arguments on the other side. I don't want to forcibly convert anyone. That said, I would pick five uh, extremist, violent um, religious folks people that want to blow stuff up or shoot someone over their religious beliefs because that would be saving lives so um, that would be a good thing and maybe they could convince some other people who think that blowing shit up is the way to go to not do it and that would be excellent all around next question would I date someone that's religious yes um, I don't really have Religion is not on my priority list of things that I really want to change about people. Um, and even if it were, I think in any relationship that we have to compromise some of our kind of important beliefs, sometimes even core beliefs uh, that are not shared, we just have to accept our differences and that's the fair and the good thing to do. Right? This thing, such a thing is going too far if the other person is a Nazi then that would probably be a hindrance to our relationship, but religious, no, not at all. Um, fourth question, what would God change in my life? I think he's mainly superfluous for my uh, code of ethics. I'm, that's uh, stable without necessity for God. Um, and so not really anything in particular, um, except I am not really that comfortable with the idea of death I don't like the idea of not existing so if God came with an afterlife and all of that good metaphysical stuff that would kind of um, ease my mind about that and obviously um, my death is one thing but the death of people that I care about is also very very significant the fact that they're not gone I would find very helpful to be quite honest um, Alright, so the fifth question, what, did, what do I respect about theists or religious people? Um, and that it's, it's um, that, that segment of religious people who are really, really empathetic, who are really, really good people, and who come to religion or stay in religion uh, because of the God idea, but not just because God protects them, but because the idea of a just and loving God is something they find inherently so appealing um, because it means there will be justice for everyone that all of these problems will be fixed that all of this terrible suffering that we see around us can be addressed the people that enjoy religion and that find so much comfort in religion because they have problems dealing with how unfair and bad the world can sometimes be I, I think that's a that's a beautiful thing um, and I found that a lot in religion when I was still religious um, and 
that was something I deeply appreciated the people that and I, I think in a way that is something that's still a, there's lots of atheists that are like that individually but because atheism doesn't really have any additional uh, kind of rules or beliefs to it and because humanism never really took off we don't really do that in as organized a manner. We don't really get together as much um, and uh, really pool our efforts into doing good in various ways. And yes, one of the reasons is because we're still a minority in most places and I'm sure we get better, but we'll also need things like humanism, like positive systems that actually have values that allow us to really go out there and do good and I think that's already present in a lot of religious communities and progressive churches and I think that's wonderful um, anyways this was Church of STFU again congratulations to Bossman for your two years on YouTube and I will see you guys all later